Hi, this is A Minute of Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now this week I want to talk about the three reasons why no one is using your app. Okay, a few weeks ago I wrote a blog post about why no one is using your app. And uh, I thought what I would do is on this week's Minute of Overpass was kind of go over that a little bit more because it was kind of rushed and I know a lot of you don't actually read uh, the Overpass blog and you're not subscribed to the newsletter and uh, you know, which is fine, you know, do what you want, whatever. But uh, so, so I thought I'd go through this again. And the reason I bring this up is because I had a client contact me and he was kind of kind of depressed and he was saying that how his app was not being used properly and it, it wasn't going to take off the way that, that he, he hoped it would and he's not going to make enough money. So I asked the three questions I always ask, the same like you know, if you watch The Walking Dead, you know, Rick Grimes always asks the three questions about the walkers. I, I asked the, I said, is it is the problem that A, no one, people hate your app? Is it B, that people don't see the point in your app? Or is it C, they don't know about your app? And, uh, and this is the three reasons why people don't use your app at all. I can't think of any other reason, right? And the, the, more often than not, it's like never A, right? It's always, it's always B or C, and more often than not, it's C, right? So, so let's go through these uh, again. So, so most of the time, people aren't using the, your app because no one knows about them, right? So you had this great idea, you released an app, and then you and people aren't finding it for whatever reason. Maybe it's the keywords, maybe it's the marketing, uh, and, and people just aren't finding it. And so, and, when, and I know this because when your friends ask about it, say, hey, how's that app going? How's your big app idea going? And then you say, uh, oh, you know, it's, it's not doing as well as I hoped. And, they, and their uh, suggestion is, oh, maybe you should add this new feature or maybe you should, you know, uh, maybe you should add some other functionality, right? And, and b that kind of goes to uh, reason number, reason A, you know, like people hate your app or they, they don't like it, right? But, but that's not the problem. Think about it, and I always talk about this as if you had a restaurant and it's, it's like the perfect restaurant, but it's on the outskirts of town and no one knows about it. And, you know, they would expect, if it was perfect for them, they would expect you to somehow make them know about it, either through advertising or, or word of mouth or what have you. But, you know, these kind of places open and close with no one knowing about them. And it's the same with our apps. So uh, and, and so, let me just show you my screen here. We're just going to go through this again because I know I've covered this before, but a few years ago we had no idea who was looking at our app pages, right, compared to who was using them. Now both Google Play and iTunes, almost around the same time last year, they, they offered the same functionality. So if I show you this, this is the Google Play Developer Console. If you go into uh, user acquisition here and under performance, here you can see uh, the number of people who are actually viewing my page and, the, uh, uh, and how many people actually install it, right? So uh, now this 77,371 people saw it within the last 15 days, right? Which is definitely not the entire population, right? That's, that's a very good reach compared to some of the other apps, which I'll show you in a minute. But of those people who see it, uh, so that gets around, you know, reason C, which people don't know about it. Finally, some people learn about it. Then we get to reason B, which they don't see the, the point in it. So they, they look at my app page and they say, uh, you know, only 30% of people download it, which is, that's on me, right? So it's, a, it's, it's my job to go out there and make sure people know about it. And that could be, you know, tweeting or Facebook or, you know, Facebook ads or, or, or however, and try to get people to, to know about it, get it up in the rankings with reviews, all that kind of stuff. So that's solving problem C. But then we get to problem B, where they get to the page and they, you know, but for whatever reason, they don't see the point in it. Maybe they think it's creepy. Maybe they think it's dumb. Maybe they think it's the same as something else. So that's it. And uh, so, you know, and here, let me just uh, show you some of the other ones. This one is How I Met Santa. So this is, I specifically chose this one because people aren't using it. It's like May. So, you know, today's, you know, it's May uh, 29th or something. Uh, so, uh, so here you can see only three people have seen it in the last 15 days. Nobody's downloaded it. I'm not very surprised. Uh, Korean uh, flash, uh, Korean flash quiz. Uh, you know, four thousand three hundred uh, viewed it. Only a thousand downloaded it. So again, you know, problem B is being or problem C is being solved, but problem B is is not. So you know, people are are starting to know about it. Not enough people, but uh, they're also uh, you know, too many of them. You know, 
uh, whatever, 76% of them don't see the point. So, uh, and then uh, iTunes actually brought this in as well. So if, you, so if you go into iTunes and you go into App Analytics here, you can see that, uh, uh, you know, right here they have everything in one place, which is actually, you know, <laughs> you know, uncharacteristically more simple on the iTunes side. But here you can see uh, it's still around 26% of people are actually downloading it who see it. So it's, it's pretty consistent between uh, Google Play and Android. But you know, we see a lot of, uh, for me, iTunes doesn't do nearly as well as Google does. So uh, you, know, you see how many people see it and how many people don't. So the reason I bring this up again is like you have to address the situation that you're facing. More often than not, your, your problem is C. You know, you, not enough people are finding the app. Uh, you, but, yeah, and you're not going to be able to fix that by changing the screenshots because they're not actually finding the page. You might be able to change, fix it a little bit by changing the icon because more people will be clicking through the page and then you'll get into problem B. But it's sort of an escalation. And as, in terms of the, uh, the you know, problem A where people don't like your app, then you have to fix it. You have to take their feedback and go in and make those corrections. Uh, and that's a, a, a much better problem to have because, because then you can actually, you know, you have something to work with. If nobody knows about your app, and that, and more often than not, that's the case. That's, that's the case in almost every situation. Is It's not that people aren't using your app. It's not that people don't see the point in your app. It's like they don't even know it exists at all. You know, every day thousands of apps go in and, uh, you know, and nobody knows about them. I mean, they don't show up on any lists. You know, people aren't just going in there and searching, uh, you know, Candy Crush type games or whatever it is that's out there. So, uh, so yeah, it's you know, you when you're having trouble with apps, and a lot of us are, you have to ask yourself that question: Is a problem a no one likes it, b no one sees a point in it, or c nobody knows about it? And you have to address those problems as it goes. And more often than not, that means we have to spend more on advertising. We have to spend more on spreading the word and all that kind of stuff for c. So, so that's it for this week. Hey, next week, I don't know if I'll be doing a video or not because I'll be in San Diego in my hometown, in my native country, if you will. So, but I might do one. I've always wanted to do like an internet marketer, one like in front of the beach where I'm like, hey, how's it going? Here I am at my, uh, my villa. Uh, but uh, so I might do. So, you know, tune in next week if you're interested in that. If you're not, you know, don't worry about it. Also, I'm trying out Snapchat. I just started out doing it yesterday. I have like one Snapchat friend. So if you're interested in trying out Snapchat with me, we can link up and uh, you know, we can share what we know about apps. Uh, I'll put my Snapchat link in the description. Uh, and that's it. I'll talk to you next week. Hey, I really hope you liked that video. Uh, now, I do these once a week, so if, if you, if you want to hear more or you want to you know, hear more about uh, our experiences with the App Store, either Google Play or iTunes, uh, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and please like this video and, and leave a comment. I love reading the comments. I love hearing what you have to say, even if it's just hello or, or, or whatever. And, and like I say before, um, if, you, if you're not sure what to, to say in a comment, like I never know what to say in a comment, I'll make it easier for you. Like if, if you liked it, just go ahead and say gnarly, uh, which is an 80s term. Or uh, if you didn't like it, just say bogus. And, and if you didn't think any of it, just say eh. Right? So, and, so that, that would be a big, big, big help. And, and another thing you could do, uh, which I'd really appreciate it, if you're on the App Store and you want to try one of our apps, look up some of the Overpass apps, uh, applications either on iTunes or Google Play, and, and leave a review and, and let us know what you think about it, either good or bad. But, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, we're all trying to you know, build up in the market, so, uh, so that would be a big help. So, so that's it. I'll talk to you next week.